check this out. A fan uh, drew this for me and it's spectacular. Like, first of all, I love the size. It's actually big. I can frame this, but oh, yeah. dude, this came in the mail from so Hannah. Cool. She draws cars on Instagram, made this. And yeah. uh, she sent me some uh, along the ways in progress of what she was doing. I thought, oh, that's really cool. And then she mailed it to me. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to send it to me. She's like, no, it's a gift. So huge thank you. Yeah. Looks really to Hannah. I'm going to get that framed. Hang that in the office. I'll get rid of that because. Oh, dude, can I take it from my office? Nope. Why? We paid for that, by the way. Yeah, I know. Like thousands of dollars. Well, you got to put it somewhere, right? Well, they need to win a race. <laughs> they were so winning, winning races. Winners on the wall. When this was painted, they were winning races. No, they weren't. Two years ago? We thought they were going to win races. And we're like, oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Well, it's also cool because it's red, and then it's also crooked right now. If you look at the roof line, it's off. <laughs> you and I have an unfortunate track today, Mark. Not to change the subject too quickly, but. What's the change the quick one? We have to go pick up a car. Oh! Uh, I, I have a, a rental car company, um, Drive LA. Uh, I reached out to borrow a car for a video that I wanted to film for a while. I also never driven this car before, and it's a car I really want. So uh, we're gonna go pick it up. But there's one small but, and a few big ones. <laughs> but do you know the issue with the car? It's location. What, why? What's wrong with Do you know where we, we're going? Can we, can we get to it? We can get to it. All right. Yeah, it's in the how long is it it's take? in the valley. You said it was like 30 minutes. No, we have to go to uh, basically Gintani. Oh no, not yeah. Gintani. In that area, it's on Oxnard. <laughs> so we don't have an Uber on the way. Mark's still finishing the edit on the first, um, which you've already seen by now, so I hope you liked it. 720 video. And if you didn't, hey man, we'll do better next time. It's all good. Um, so I said to Mark, because he's editing a bit this morning, I'm like, well, why don't you just come for the ride? So that way you can come check out the car, but also I can sit with you and we can work on the edit together and go over feedback while you're already working on it, which is kind of cool that you can do it from a laptop. And bring your um, MagSafe charger, because I guess the Suburban have plugins yeah. to keep this bad boy charged. I uh, was actually telling my dad last night that, you know, I, I didn't think it would take this long to get this car, but I am actually excited to ride in this car. Yeah. Because I've never had a ride in a new one, and so, you know, I'm excited for all the different features in it. Those are, those are cool, dude. This car, uh, nobody makes... An interior as good as this brand. I would say the competition really? has a better exterior, but oh yeah, dude. The interior compared to really? this competition, no. And I've owned both. That's a hint yeah. for you guys. Everybody probably figured it up by now, but. Ferrari. Uh, yeah, Ferrari. Ferrari. We're gonna go borrow a. Uh, yeah, I bet uh, you uh, wanted one of these. A huh? California yeah. and a Portofino. <laughs> Dave thought he deleted these clips from Gumball. He was wrong, which is normal. This is Morgan Freeman, and you're watching Daily Driven Exotics. Every day is super crazy. Exactly. exactly. No, no, no. Like they, they recommended me, and and indeed they help me with YouTube sometimes. With good ideas. Created your channel for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You made me. <laughs> Dave and Damon made me. I DM'd you first, I think, didn't I? Yeah, you slid in my DMs. But I, I, listen, I won't hold that against you, man. I won't hold that against you. You know what actually happened, right? This was two and a half years ago. You were talking about me in a petrol station. And yeah, someone clipped right. that and sent it to me. That's how, that's how I connected it. Uh, and, then, and then you sent me a DM, and you slid in my DMs, and that was good crack like. So and the rest is history. The rest? Is history. Matter of time. That's amazing. Oh! DD style. You guys film like this, don't you? I also film like this, kind of shocker And then you just do like this. this. Oh yeah? <laughs> I do actually. I hold the phone like this. Oh, you mean the big camera? It's like on the proper channel. Yeah, so the proper channel. This. The proper channel is like, yeah, like this. Are you calling like the, the behind the scenes channel the not proper channel? Yeah, amateur hour. And then the amateur hour channel. <laughs> amateur hour channel. channel. It's like yeah, this. <laughs> it's like this. It's like this. Hold on. It's like it's like. Yeah. Uh, this is what I've been up to. Drinking today. a bottle of water. How you guys doing? Today? <laughs> it's literally. This is what I'm doing today. That's what I've been up to. How good is that thing? I'd be recording the whole time right now. I'd be like this. Well, Nico's Nico's changed my game. This is it. This, this is, is where it. it's at. This okay. is it, mate. That is so okay. I have the vlog camera with me, right? You don't use it. But the problem with that is... You know how to use it. it uh, oh, wait, no, it's not... Yeah? It, it's not wide good. enough. I'm too big. I'm too fat. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I don't fit the fucking screen enough. anymore. Well, you're, you're, you're also uh, a professional boxer now. Yeah. You're going in and you're fighting. Shall we, shall we rack this place just for sure? Who are you fighting? 
No, I don't like to talk about. Yeah. Who are you actually fighting? You know, but why are you asking? You Tracks know. NYC. Oh, is, that, is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were He's going. He's saying, no, it's on the dog. He weighs like 140 pounds. Really? Yeah. I thought you didn't All like that. Sick, You're not a big guy. Why would you pick someone you could win? No, I pick someone that I, I, he, I can't. If I get beat, you can have all my arms. I can? Yeah. Shake on it? Stop. I've got this on. Wow. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I don't, I the guy is this skinny, massive man. Massive list of watches to sell after this. <laughs> <laughs> they go out and buy my Senna. <laughs> he might be fast though, Nico. He might be have fast hands and cardio. No, he's smoking every day. Every he's smoking weed every night. Maybe he's from New York. He's though. a fucking stoner. What, what series is this? This sounds it's like Kingpin. Kingpin. What's Kingpin. that? Is that is this just like, like the white biggest collar promotion? Boxing? No, no, no. It's biggest, this is a real YouTube shit. boxing promotion and fucking. Yeah. Anyway, this guy holds a camera no, just like this on a little stand, just like that. Films it and films it in the backyard. <laughs> Bare knuckle, Kimbo slice. Uh, uh, he was a. You want to hear a funny story? Oh, you want to hear a funny story? I can say. Oh no, it's not your cow. Kimbo slice. He's an OG. You want to hear a funny story? This guy. He only wanted to fight if he got paid the same as me. Really? Big but, dollar bill. Big dollar bill. What? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah he but he doesn't. <laughs> He's getting paid more. Did you? The fact that you accepted fifty thousand dollars shows how much of a fucking pussy you are. Yeah, you can't even negotiate that properly. What a piece of shit! I'm going are to you? This fight. Where is it? Where is it? When is 15th it? 15th of July, the three arena video. in Dublin. Come on over. It's gonna be that tonight at, when he gets this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for the flight from the car park. Let's go. Uh, hey, tracks, <laughs> tracks. You've been played, son. You've been played. <laughs> The fact that you accepted 50k just not negotiating enough and shows how much of a businessman you are. Honestly, mate, you're an embarrassment for New York. Is he from New York? In, nah, like yeah. 47th Street. You know yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Nico said, I'll buy dinner. My credit card. So I ordered like $300 worth of food. There's only four of us eating right now. So look at his reaction. I think we're gonna stop. I ordered enough. I fucked up. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Put it in here too. There was three delivery drivers. Yeah. Anywhere it's fine. Here, you put it here. <laughs> I do wet work in my spare time. Huh? Are you getting in this picture? <laughs> Dude, this is a video. This is a goodbye for the stories channel. <laughs> oh. James. Yeah. Because you go into details on it. Oh, we don't. Care. No one gives a fuck. It's, it's old. Yesterday. We get a new. It's yesterday. We get a new one tomorrow. Right, then, Give it out, Brian. Sorry for being there. Oh, by the way, right, HR department. Because I lost mine. Thank you. That, that made that easy. There you go. Um, every cloud. Well, honestly. On it. No, honestly. For yeah. having us here for a few days. No. Thank Thank you. It's been amazing. Yeah, thanks for hosting uh, Got to drive the egg. Got to hang out with James. Got to do a bunch of cool stuff around um, London. I gotta call it now. Yeah. Yeah, two two reasons. First reason is I got to go to a Milla Milia, mm -hmm. and it was like planned a long time ago, and then it was turned out to be booked on exactly the same week as Gumball. And the other reason is I got my passport stolen, so I can't continue any further anyway. Yeah. So gonna get that sorted tomorrow. Otherwise, I would have been able to do one more day with you. But now I got to go to the passport office. It's lost in the passport office that day. Yeah, not ideal. The so, government got your time. Yeah. That's funny but, how that always works out. Monterey. Monterey Car, Car week. week. We're gonna make it Monterey Car three weeks. Yes, Monterey Car roll. three oh, weeks. It's gonna be good. Monterey Car year. Car and year. just wait, because when you come in August, yeah, there'll be certain things done to certain cars that are actually big leaps and bounds with our cars. So we're gonna take you out and do some stuff oh, that you it. don't typically do on your channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I know you will have fun doing it with us. Cryptic. Nico, are you coming to Car good. Week? You really felt the necessary to ask that question. <laughs> well, you, said, you said you're doing gumball, so I have to ask five times. <laughs> you felt that so, you know, that was so awkward. He was like, oh, I need to ask him. Go fuck yourself. Do you, do you want to come? <laughs> Nick, Nico will fly out, come to Pebble Beach, get the Pebble Beach fuck. vest. Is this like a hat, and then or the leave behind the scenes, because they're just right? leaving it all in. Hey, this is what happens. He'll fly out, he'll come out. Yeah. He'll go to Pebble Beach. Yeah. Borrow someone's car. Yeah. Drive it across the concourse, get first place, buy the Pebble Beach vest and the hat, and say he did car week. Can I ask you one more question? 
I randomly got this short of a guy called G. Cannon about ruining Leverkusen. Should we be filming this? I don't know. I'm asking. I have, I didn't watch it. I just seen it. This guy has been fucking on me, and I constantly said no, uh, doing some stuff with, with the cannon roll or something. Right. And I'm like, no, can't be arsed. They're doing this Irish one. Not doing it, obviously. And now I see that literal text. I didn't watch the video. I just I just opened the thing. It says Dave D D E or you D D ruined my Lamborghini. Because because I know who it is. He bought a twin turbo kit because it's inspired by Damon. So he's like, haha, you ruined it because I got oh, turbo kit because of Damon. He's he, he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. He's just being uh, funny. Uh, he was saying in a podcast mm-hmm. that it's Steven Sully. Yeah. Remember the guys who no, you weren't on any gumball before. Remember the guys <laughs> who came on Gumball in North America? The two and the, they were uh, um from Ireland? No, not from England. Or England. They're, they're in London. Thick accent. Canterbury House, the art studio. Correct. Yeah. Do you remember yeah, 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 yeah. Good chat. Yeah, 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 I did yeah, a yeah. podcast with them. Yes. He did a podcast with them as well, and that's where we saw the story where he was like, I was inspired by Dee Dee to twin turbo my car, so I did, and I blew it blew up my car, and Dee Dee ruined the, 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 the clickbait was Dee Dee ruined my car. All right. So we didn't really ruin I didn't, We uh, haven't really ruined anybody's car. All right. I just saw this because you, had, you always have arguments with everyone, so check that. Yes, right. Yeah, because I don't put up with anybody's shit. Okay, it's bedtime. It's Say goodbye. It's, it's, it's 2.30. That, hey, I'm, out. I'm, I'm born at, in that era where if you piss me off, you're going to find out about it. Oh, good, right? I'll go toe-to-toe. I know. I noticed that earlier. Yeah. Fuck me, you're pissed off at me. I wasn't pissed off at you. You're like, fuck off with your fucking watch content. I gotta, we don't bleep this out. How do we handle him? I'm doing all of it. I'm putting footage now. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. You know, when you're in a rush, what's the worst possible thing that could happen? Well, I dropped a bottle of red wine and smashed it on the ground, and it was like a murder scene. I apologize to the good people here at the V Verber Hotel. Got the squirts. <laughs> what up, guys? Give it up for DDE! <laughs> yeah, bro! Alright, rumors here. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Always bring a camera in case something goes down. We're not filming for the main channel picking up the car. That's not part of the story. What we're gonna do is film for you guys, and then the car will be magically here. So I was gonna film the whole thing at the HQ, but then looking at my time, uh, I'm flight at 9 p.m. at LAX, so this logistically is kind of a poor choice, but I don't have any other options for today's content production. This is a video I've wanted to make for a long time, but looking at the board as far as what can I film before I go home, uh, then I'm home for eight days, this is it. So we're gonna go all the way to the valley, yeah. grab the car, yeah. all the way back to the HQ, yeah. and then I'll drive it back to the valley and go to my flight. Luckily my flight's at LAX, so it's actually not, that part's not ridiculous. Um, and it's a Saturday, so the traffic's not as bad. If this was a Friday, this would be like three hours. Now it drives an hour and 20. Heading back won't be too bad either. So, the car's also comfortable. There's a hint for you guys. Um, so we're gonna do the, we're gonna start the vlog right now in the Suburban. And um, I'll film going to the place, bringing it back. And it's, it's, I'm gonna have to work in the story of what happened uh, throughout the whole video, which is more to think about rather than just holding the camera and being like, hey, we're in LA and we're going to go get ice cream. Yeah. Ironically, Mark's still editing. I am. Now, the reason why this edit is taking longer than normal is that it's a new format we're trying. So, 
if it was like any other vlog, Mark would have been done yesterday at four o'clock. It basically was done. Then I was like, hey, I, I want I want to add some other elements to this thing. Mark's like, what? I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's do this. And let's do sound design. And let's add creaking when Mike walks. Mike practically has his own sound design because when you watch that guy move around, it, it, I feel bad for him. Like he'll come out from underneath the car and be like, tick, 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 tick. Duck, 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 duck. Stand up, lock his knees. Duck, really, duck. dude? Mike's a creaking guy. I never noticed that. <laughs> no, Mike's been working on cars his entire <laughs> since he was a teenager. Like yeah. Mike self-taught, had his own. He's had many, many of his own shops. He still maintains his own facility for his own personal projects and whatnot. But um, he's been doing his whole life, and yeah, it's yeah. it's hard in your body. Any labor job, like you guys are just like Dave's been working a day in his life. I, I at one point owned a exterior maintenance business. So I did roof washing, window washing, gutters and all that. And the, the big money maker was doing, hold on, sorry guys, was doing roof washing for moss because where I live on the oh, West Coast, yeah. it's a lot of rain, it's a rainforest category. So I would spray hydrogen peroxide because it's safer for plants. Down here you guys use SH bleach, but in Canada you know how to do that. So I just spray peroxide on it, it would kill the moss, and you take a, a pressure washer at idle so light pressure, you just rinse the roof off and That's clean cool. all the moss off. And I can make two grand. I would charge 2000 for a whole roof. I could do it in a day and a half, two days. Product about $400, make $1,600. This is, That's pretty this good. is, this is, this is 2010, 11. Yeah. Um, and I still worked at Starbucks. So I would do 5 a.m. to 2 oh, p.m. at Starbucks and I go do that after. Yeah, I never quit Starbucks. I did, I did both for years. I've always, when I had a job before DDA, I always had a job and a side hustle. Because it, to make any money, you have to be self employed at some level because the tax benefits are also like, hey, I'm broke, I wanna go buy the new iPhone. Well, if you have a job, how do you make more money at a job? So I always had something on the side, okay, cool, I'm gonna go and do this on the side, make an extra thousand bucks. And at one point, I had four full-time employees, four, and we were doing um, commercial strata. So I was doing residential stuff, and I was like, you know, like two grand here. But they also had been on like 20, 30, $40,000 yeah. contracts for these big buildings. And I had a crew that was manage it, and I would be at Starbucks with an apron on, while the guys were out there, and I would have months where I'd make like eighteen thousand dollars. My best month ever was eighteen thousand profit, while I'm at Starbucks making drinks. Now I was a store manager, by the way. I never ever was a barista. Nothing wrong with that, but I got hired as a store manager because I managed a pizza hut before yeah, that. Before. Yeah, and then I went from store manager to district manager. So when I left, like when I joined with Damon doing DD stuff, before I left, I was a district manager. Which means I had 13 stores that I managed. But yeah, it's gonna be a barista, I don't care. Being a barista is a cool job, and I wish. Did you ever have a uh, job before? Like a fast food or anything? My first job was making videos. So you never had a job before? Like a job, job, like a fast food, Walmart? So I started there making videos, and then they realized that you don't put up a YouTube video and immediately make money. So, <laughs> like two months in. They're like, well, you'll make videos when you're not busy, and then you'll do uh, work the storefront. What store was this? This was at an Retail? airsoft. Oh, store. airsoft. Yeah, when I was growing up. So. But you never had a fast food job, no. restaurant job. No. I think if you want to learn about people, work in the service industry. I did it all my life. And I read the comments sometimes, especially like on Facebook, where people don't really know our story, and people are like, these rich guys, blah 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 blah. And I'm like, gold Lamborghinis. What are you trying to prove? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all context. And even now, like, we have all this stuff. But like, if we don't make videos, the cars are all part of the, the cars. The videos are why we have the cars. Without the videos, the cars will be gone tomorrow. Like, tomorrow, damn right, I don't do videos anymore. All the cars are gone. Because yeah. the cars have payments, and they're, they're huge. Like, some of the payments are like $10,000 a month. The CGT was $18,000 a month. And insurance was $6,000 a month. So real money. Yeah. But the argument there is that the car did appreciate, so we did come out ahead. Thank God. All right, we're here at Drive LA. There's the owner, Eric. Eric's a new dad. Hey, how's it going? And your baby in the background. Yeah, he's crying. <laughs> um, you got a lot of cool cars here. A lot, of, a lot of stuff. You have luxury cars. You've got exotic cars. You have Urises. Yeah, a little bit of everything. People come to California probably want a convertible, which you have. We actually had an Evo Spider, but ours didn't have a windshield on it. Oh, yeah. We have this, actually, we have the same color. We have that Verde, Verde Scandal, right? It was, it was black, but we, we wrapped it oh, you yellow. Wrapped yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, cheat. So we, we cheat. have we have that one, uh, but it's just a regular convertible. Yeah, it's out right now. We have we have seven seven of those. What yeah. do people probably want? Huracan because they're easy to drive. Oh yeah, and they're reliable. Too. And they're reliable yeah, for you. Super yeah. Reliable for that. Yeah. This is always the question mark right here. The GT is a cool car though. 
GT comfortable room super, for golf bags. Yeah, yeah, super comfortable. The cool part too is that it's basically it's a 570 motor, even a 720 motor detuned, yeah. but they're way cheaper because they're less desirable. Less desirable. So if depreciation hits harder, so if you want to get an uh, exotic car, GT is great. If you want to rent a car, GT is also friendly because it has good visibility. And uh, they're easy to drive. And you can fit your luggage, you can fit your luggage in it. If you're taller, it's, it's beneficial for you too. There's a lot of space in there. You have my heart right here. Yeah. The flying spur with that insane interior. Some of the spec discs are like, yeah. Yeah, whoever spec this car originally, we got, we got it second, basically with a second owner. They had balls. Yeah, they went, they went ham. But when I saw this, I was like, it's perfect for what we do. Yeah. The brakes are sick. Yeah, the brake comes Oh, yeah. the yeah. details. So, so today we're borrowing this. So I reached out, you guys hooked me up. I have a video I'm doing. I need a Continental GT, the newer one. I don't know chassis codes, I don't bother with any of that stuff with Bentleys. Mm -hmm. And um, I was very close to buying this car. You'll see it in the main video. I still wanna do it, but I need to do it in a certain way that makes sense to the channel, which means I need to cut the entire body off. I destroy it. So I should buy a, 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 a write-off, but like, you know what, right now with the cost of people on, on all those websites, like, a wreck car costs not much less than a good car. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like Huracans crazy. go for like 130 grand, smashed up. Smashed, yeah. And you fix it, and now you say you into it for 180, you sell it for 220? Yeah. That's a slim margin to buy a wreck car. Super slim, yeah. So here's the, uh, the GT. We're going to take it in a minute here. Have you seen the roof liner on this thing? No. It's kind of a big fun car. Though. Aftermarket stars? You leave that to Rolls Royce guys. <laughs> I know. This, <laughs> yeah, this guy went crazy with the stars. You can't see him now, but you We'll turn, turn them on, on in a yeah. minute. It's, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's, nice. it's really nice. I've owned, um, I've owned a, a Mulsanne and I had a, a Wraith. And I would say Bentleys, I enjoy driving better. They have better interior. Rolls Royce looks better on the outside. Yeah, it does, yeah. More presence. More presence, yeah. yeah. More like, hey, look how rich I yeah, am. Yeah, yeah. Definitely more presence. <laughs> Who would you take? Would you take the Cullinan or the Flying Spur? I would take the Cullinan, actually. I think they look really cool. <laughs> what's um, cool about them is their brakes are horrible and it's terrifying. You know what's funny? People don't know that. Their brakes are horrible. They're horrible. They're horrible. I just went back from Monterey and I loved Rolls Royce. I was like, yeah, I'm good. And like, we've replaced them all the time. They're oh, yeah. You probably get 5,000 miles. I think a big thing is the car is so heavy. So it's just it's how, like how, how, you know, how, how well they can stand up. You know? That's pretty much the biggest thing. To drive, I'd take the Bentley, though. To be driven in, I'd take the Colony. Yeah. I'll f fair on that. The Bentley was driven, the Bentley was built for the driver. Yeah. yeah. Right? It has a cool ass headlight, so. though. It's a cool ass headlight. Yes. Like, yeah. the That's detail. Cool. It'd be cool, and I love this brand. I just wish they held some value. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> like, they get murdered. People that buy them, the thing is, if you're buying this car, you're at a point where you don't care. Yeah. yeah. Like, $400,000, cool, I'm worth a billion, and my daily interest buys me a Bentley. Real. Yeah. But if you're like the fake people in Los Angeles, you know who you are. Right, the guy on the least Huracan 2015 high mileage, with like a no date Submariner. They can't afford the depreciation of that car because you're really no dates. <laughs> no date. It's an, L, an LA special is no date Submariner. You're good. Submariner. You got it. The no date Sub <laughs> pre ceramic. Yeah. And a, a 2015 Huracan with 90,000 miles on oh. it that you lease that you can't afford to go down because that was a former rental car. That was a yeah. for sure. <laughs> Headliner was torn out. It was our second. Hand. But if you buy something like this. Uh, you're, you're buying it because you love the car and you don't care about its value. But in any event, all right, well, if you guys are in LA and you want to get a car, drive LA. You guys have, how many, how much cars do you have in your inventory approximately? Just under 80. So yeah. it's 80 options for you guys yeah, to be watching so right now. Like, this is, uh, this is pretty, I mean, this is a wall that's left for the weekend. A lot of cars came back today and cars going back out this evening, but yeah, hit us up and we'll hook you up. So mention this uh, video, we'll give you a 20% discount. Woo. We got you. Yeah. Woo. So. Mark, if you could have any car in here to drive for the weekend right now, what are you taking? You're good, dude. We're, we're casual. You're good. Live your life. <laughs> um, probably the Ferrari. Really? Now, would you go with probably. the 48 or you go with the F8? The 48. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, he has a Ferrari hat on. Yeah. And to be fair, I'm wearing a Ferrari shirt, so we're both, <laughs> we're both those dudes right now. Yeah. I don't know. All right, Mark. I know it's in here, bro. You're experiencing luxury for the first time. I know it's in here. Welcome oh. to my world. Oh, 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 oh. What you got? What you got? Massage intensity maximum. Hit it. Massage type. Um, Swedish. It doesn't have that option. Oh. Um, we'll, we'll do wave first. Oh, oh dear. This is cool. <laughs> Stretch. What does that one do? Babe, you want a massage? Yeah, I got a lot of massage. Which one do you want? You want lumbar? Uh, I trust you. Lumbar. 
Oh. The lumbar boys. Oh, yeah. Mark, <laughs> Mark just entered my world and he all of a sudden gets it. Dude. He never got so it before, nice. but he gets it now. <laughs> just shut up. Like in, in traffic, right? You're going to be in traffic. We're in LA traffic. We're down. We're in the valley. We're headed back down to Orange County. But the AC is cold. The seats are comfortable. The AC in the seats. It's not. The seats aren't um, ventilated. They're air conditioned, which means it runs air conditioning through the seat. Most vehicles, like my G Wagon, uh, just blows air. It's circulated air through the vehicle, but it's not conditioned. It's not that. No, it's not that. It's not that. It's but not this, that. Is that. This, this, this is that. This is that. Woo! All the little buttons too, the wood. Oh yeah, dude. Like, it's all about the interior in a Bentley. I'm a changed man. Yeah. I'm you a changed man. Civic now or what? Well, I couldn't get one of these for the price of the Civic. Maybe yeah, in like, you do it, you do maybe it in like two years. It's this LA. You do a fourteen-year loan. <laughs> 14 years. That's LA style. Hundred and forty-four with financing. This is the caliper from a Ferrari F12 supercar. This is the caliper on a Bentley Continental GT luxury car. Which do you expect to be bigger? Well, I have a secret for you. It's the Bentley. By a landslide. Oh my God.